Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a requested video um, from one of my subscribers. Her name is Kristen Taylor and she told me that she wanted me to uh, film an updated um, lipstick collection for you guys. So this is basically where I keep the majority of my lipsticks. There are like a couple um, in this bin over here as well of like reject lipsticks that I don't use anymore like Jeffree Star and stuff. But this is basically all of my lipsticks. Like, these are the ones that I use. Those ones I really don't use at all. Um, I did recently declutter a bunch of lipsticks. So, if you wanted to check out that video to see if there was any shades that you missed of any of my ColourPop um, lippies. Because I have a shit ton of ColourPop lippies. And any other lippies like Expire Lime Crime Velveteens or um, stuff like that. Or like Kat Von D lipsticks that I don't wear anymore. Um, just go check out that video if you really want to see my full collection. But I recently did declutter a whole bunch of ColourPop lipsticks. So now I have, I do have um, some new lipsticks since my last collection. Not too, too many. Like I filmed an updated makeup collection about seven months ago. I did just check. Um, but I, I did film just solely a makeup, a lipstick collection a year ago. So... That has been a little bit more time, so I wanted to show you guys my lipsticks. So let's start with these lipsticks right here. So as you can see, I have all of my black packaged lipsticks. This pretty much has not changed. And then I have gold package, package lipsticks in the front and one that just didn't fit in the holder and a little mini lipstick. So over here, I have um, two of my YSL lipsticks. These are the Rouge Velette lipsticks. This one is in the shade um nude beige i just love these i really love displaying these in the front because you know they're very luxurious lipsticks and the packaging is just amazing and these to this day are my favorite scented lipsticks of all time like this scent is amazing like these colors are gorgeous too i actually wore this on my birthday um it doesn't have a lipstick name on it anymore because i wore this lipstick a lot um I have worn it a couple times this year, um, but I used to wear it a shit ton more. Um, I'm going to put these down so you can see the rest of them. And then I have this one called Pink in Paris. I don't wear this one half as much, but this is a gorgeous shade as well. It's really pretty over the top of like hot pink lipsticks. It gives it a really beautiful, beautiful like pink sparkle because this isn't like completely matte. It's really pretty. Um, and then I have a drugstore lipstick next to that. I know I have like two expensive ass lipsticks and I have a drugstore lipstick. But you guys saw recently that I did do a drugstore makeup haul and I did pick up a Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Innocence. I have been wearing this so far a couple of times. But I will update you guys my full thoughts in a favorites video. So just stay, t stay tuned for my favorites video in like a couple of weeks. So far, I think the formula is really comfortable. I do have some cons about it too, though. But I do think it's a really pretty shade. And it's only like 5 bucks, so why not? And then I just have this little mini TARDIS lip paint. This came with the Sephora um, birthday gift. And this one's in the shade um, birthday suit. It is a really pretty lipstick. I'm just not too crazy about the formula. I did put this in a liquid lipstick review and check-in video so you can go check out that if you want to know my full thoughts um and then here is pretty much not changed at all this is my full mac lipstick collection you know what i might take it down so you guys can see it better of which lipsticks are actually in here so you guys know my favorite lipstick formula is mac and also mac lipsticks are pretty damn cheap compared to most li lipstick prices that um that's why I have so many and I collected these a while ago so I have quite a few and then in the back here I have my the rest of my black package lipsticks so we're gonna go through them um I know there's like so much dust on here honestly I can't help how much dust accumulates in my bathroom it just freaking happens it's really annoying I probably have to clean all these things but hey whatever it's just makeup <laughs> So anyway, these are my other two very high-end lipsticks. These are my NARS Audacious lipsticks. These are such beautiful packaging. I just love the packaging of these. They're just so nice. This one, I believe, is Raquel. This is the one I'm working on trying to use up. As you can see, the end is like completely gone. 
I'm going to try and wear this more this month. I've just been testing out the drugstore lipsticks the past uh, week or so. But I did wear a couple of new lipsticks this week. Um, and then I have the shade Bridget, which is also a gorgeous orangey shade. Like I said, this is my mom's everyday shade. She wears this, she wears this shade like every day of her life, and I have it too. Then I have two Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipsticks. This one is in the shade Lovecraft. This one is so gorgeous. The packaging is a little bit difficult to get off the cap though because of the studs. But this shade is so beautiful on the lips. It's a really gorgeous like mauvey pink. I love it. Um, I really need to wear it more often. I did just wear it a couple weeks ago. Um, but I do really like the formula of these. Some of them really vary with the formula. And then this one is called Lolita which is her classic shade that everybody loves. I love Lolita in the li liquid lipstick and in the regular version. I did return Noble though. I didn't like Noble in the lipstick version or the liquid lipstick version, but I like her um, darker um, like nude shades. Like these shades aren't really like nude. Like this is a pink and this is like an orangey brown color, but they're both like very wearable shades, but they're like, you know, there's something to them. And then I have two Too Faced color drenched matte lipsticks. I did recently declutter all of the Too Faced color drenched luminous cream. I believe they're called luminous cream lipsticks. They're like the, not the matte finish, but the um, creamy finish. These are the matte ones. I have the shade When in Doubt, and then I also have the shade, um, why isn't this going back in here? Um, sorry, not sorry. This one I got, I believe I got this one during 21 Days of Beauty and they were half price. And then the rest of these are all of my MAC lipsticks. So you guys know I love MAC lipsticks. Um, and I actually really love the formula of these. These are really nice. Um, but I'm not too crazy about Too Faced right now. But their lip products have been banging. Um, I love the peach lip glosses, the melted lipsticks. The regular melted lipsticks and the these. These are probably my least favorite out of them. They're a little bit weird putting them on your lips sometimes. But once you get them on, they stay really nicely. I don't know why one of my dogs is barking. My mom and my brother are supposed to be home soon. But I decided to film this in my bedroom because I know it might be a little bit dark. Okay, you know what? We're going to leave that light on so you guys can see a lot more. So then here I have all of my MAC lipsticks. I'll just give you an overview of the names. I'm just going to go through them really quickly because none of these have changed. They're all the same. Um, these have all stayed the same. I haven't gotten any new ones except for actually one. Um, it was free um, to my mom and she gave it to me. So I have to wear that shade. You know what? I'm probably going to wear that shade tomorrow to school actually. So I have, um, these are all, both of my Lester lipsticks high tea and syrup. I love syrup. It's amazing. Then I have one amplified finish in this shade blankety. You guys know I love that one as well. Then I have all my matte nude shades I have, which are my favorite formula ever of any lipstick. I love the cream machines too, but the mattes are my favorite. I have, um, there's just something about MAC matte lipsticks. They're just amazing. Um, so I have Honey Love, Kinda Sexy, Velvet Teddy, um, Yash, Taupe, and then I have a couple of more mattes, but I kind of arrange them by color. Then I have my cream sheens. I have Pillow Talk. I love Cream Cup. I love Among the Fireflies. I love Creaming Your Coffee is the new one that my mom got for free. Love this one. Um, Candy Yum Yum, which is a matte. Retro Matte, which is Ruby Woo, which I freaking love. Diva, which is a regular matte. Sin, Whirl, and Stone. I have to wear Whirl again at some point. And then um, another cream sheen, which I keep on the side here because it doesn't fit. This one's in the shade Creme de Nude, which is actually my least favorite. I love every single one of these except for Creme de Nude and Candy Yum Yum. I'm really not too crazy about Candy Yum Yum. Um, but the rest of these are phenomenal. I would wear these every day of my life. If I had to get rid of all my lipsticks, I would just keep my MAC ones because I love them. Um, so that is the first half of that um and then we're gonna go through the other ones on top pretty sure my mom is at home yet okay and you know what we're gonna go through these drawers so um obviously you guys know i love color pop i'm just gonna take them out like this because it's a lot easier for me to show you guys like that 
Um, so I love ColourPop, and you guys know I have a full drawer of ColourPop lippies. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, and the only new one, oh, I'm sorry, my hand got totally in the way of the camera. The only new ones I have are the Ultra Satin, Ultra Matte, and Ultra Glossy Lip from Kathleen Lights. I'm pretty sure the rest of these are older ones, but we're going to go through them relatively quickly. I have these mini um, ones from the holiday set. These are the only three shades I kept because one, of, two of them dried out on me. Um, but actually, Last Dance, I think I, not Last Dance, Times Square, I think I pretty much used completely up. I loved that one. This one's in the shade Glitter, this purple one, and this one's in the shade uh, Be Merry. I love this glitter shade, and I hate Be Merry. It's just weird with the formula sometimes. Some of them are, are amazing, and some of them are a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to take these out for just a minute because I have one more in here. And then this one is Last Dance, which I love this shade. It's an amazing red shade for Christmas. I love wearing that around Christmas time. And then I have my ColourPop Lippy Sticks. You guys know I love these. I recently did declutter a couple of them, so I only have about seven shades of them. Sorry, like my nose is really itchy right now. I got like a piece of hair there. Okay, so these are the shades I have. I'm just going to show you really quickly. Um, I have all of my Kathleen Light shades still. Pretty much that's the majority of them. Aquarius, Taurus, um, and... Aquarius and Taurus. Could have sworn there was another one. Lumiere. Duh. And then the other ones are just my regular ones that I wear a lot. Oh Snap, Grunge, Contempo, and Skimpy. Love those. I love the um, Lippy Stick formula. If these could stay. Again. Why is this like up my nose? Okay. And then these are all my ColourPop Ultra Mattes, Ultra Satins, and Ultra Glossy Lips. They're pretty much all in an assorted order right now because I didn't reorganize them before this video. But I will give you a brief overview of the shades. Um, those are the shades here. I have went through these like countless times. Um, but I will go through them pretty quickly with you. So, um, But these are the three newest additions. These are the Aquarius Trio from Kathleen Lights. This is the... I, they've worn off so much. I don't even know which one's which. This is the Ultra Satin. I can still see the writing. The writing does wear off, but I love this shade. I wear this, the Ultra Satin, the most. I love it. I've worn this so many times. Then this one is the Ultra Matte, which I love as well, Aquarius 2. And then the Ultra Glossy Lip, which is the um, more pinky shade, which I don't wear as often as the other two, but I still love it. Um, and then I have more Ultra Satins and Ultra Mattes. This is an Ultra Satin in Little Stitches, excuse me, Ultra Matte in Beeper, Kathleen Lights Lumiere 2 Ultra Matte, and then an Ultra Satin in Alyssa from Kathleen Lights. You guys know I love Kathleen Lights, so I have all of her ColourPop lippies. Um, and then I have two of the glosses up here, which I'm just going to put them together because they're both metallics. Tight fit in my jam. Oh my god, these are like my favorite lip glosses. I don't really have that many metallic lip glosses in my collection right now, but these, I swear to god, if you're looking for a metallic lips lip uh metallic lip gloss, these are the way to go. They're so gorgeous and glittery and reflective. I have been using this at like every single concert I go to. I've been like topping off my lips with it. It's amazing i love it and then tight fit is amazing as well um and then the second row i have a ultra glossy lip and bestie ultra matte lip and clueless ultra glossy lip in november by kathleen lights ultra satin lip in molly which i love too i finally got to get more use out of this in the summertime it's such a gorgeous like lilac shade i'm obsessed with it it's so beautiful that's like my favorite shade i own from them right now um, this one is Fairy Floss, which is a gorgeous gloss. Um, Creeper, which I'm probably going to get rid of. It's probably really dried out by now. But I have another red lip that I'm, like, obsessed with right now that I got from Lime Crime. Point Zero from Kathleen Lights Magic Wand Ultra Satin. Those are both Ultra Satins. Um, Platform Ultra Matte. Echo Park um, Ultra Satin. Instigator Ultra Matte. Bumble, Ultra Matte, Spritz, Ultra Satin, Chili Chili, Ultra Matte, 
Dolby, Ultra Satin, Tool, Ultra Matte, and Avenue Ultra Matte. I might have to get rid of Avenue as well. So um, I'm going to see how those are like at some point. Avenue is a pretty crappy shade formula wise, but all the other ones are really good. Just Avenue I like stopped wearing a long ass time ago. Um, so yeah, that's that drawer. And then in this drawer, you guys know I don't have lippies in here. These are my ColourPop eyeshadows, Kat Von D eyeshadows, MAC eyeshadows, Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, and Urban Decay eyeshadows. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of that because I wear my ColourPop eyeshadows so often, I finally decided to transfer them into this drawer. These are like the only other things that fit in here besides lippies because these drawers are so tiny. I wish I had bigger drawers. I really do. But these were so cheap from the container store. They were like $15. Like most makeup stores units are like $50. Bucks. I'm like, no, thank you. Okay, so then in this drawer, we have a bunch of different brands in here. Again, these are all like out of whack but I am going to show you my best what I have in here okay so up here obviously as you can see I have all of my Stila liquid lipsticks um I have quite a few in here I have this one I love this one is in the shade fiery it's amazing and patina is amazing and so is Fiore these these ones I all love the ones with the black caps I love these. These are all like amazing formula wise. I love patina. I have to wear that one soon as well. I really don't wear half of my lippies anymore. I rotate like the same 10 nude shades now. It's like ridiculous. And then this one is Fiore. It's an amazing pink shade. But these two, I like Carmel. This one is a decent lipstick. It's not my favorite, but it is good. But this one in Bella, I was really looking for some fire hot pink lipstick and this one honestly I don't know what it is about the formula of this but this smells so chemically now I don't know what it is it's such a gorgeous hot pink but I really only wear it like once or twice in the summertime because I don't really have any other hot pink shades besides candy yum yum or lime crimes contessa fluorescent but those aren't that con contessa fluorescent shade is not the hot pink I'm looking for I wanted something like barbie pink like this you, you guys know what I'm talking about. And just, I don't know what it is about hot pink shades that they just can't really get the formula right. Not even Stila, but like most liquid lipsticks or regular lipsticks in general. But let's move on. So then, I think the newest additions to this drawer here are the two Urban Decay lipsticks. I think these are the only two that I didn't have in here last time. But these are the Urban Decay Vice liquid lipsticks. I was working at Sephora, uh, not Sephora, at Ulta at this time that I bought these two lipsticks. I think these two lipsticks and two um, two face lip glosses were like the only lip products I bought when I was working there. It was just during like a seasonal time. But I was like stalking when they would put these out in the store. Like I wanted to grab these so badly. So I got these two in Back Talk in 1993. And honestly, I really like the formula of these. I think that they're pretty good. The only con about these is that they are very sticky. I know that they're upside down. Let's hold it the right way. And the packaging... I love that it has like a full tube of lipstick on the top. It's just adorable. But yeah, I really like these. Um, and then I have my Dose of Colors li liquid lipsticks. I think that these are getting pretty old. I might have to declutter Truffle. I feel like it's like almost completely empty. And then this one is Stone. I actually really like these. When I first tried them out, I didn't love them. These are probably the only liquid lipstick formula that like really grew on me. And now I really like them. I love how I can't hold them properly. But yeah. They're pretty good. Um, I would recommend Dose of Colors. They're probably like somewhere in the middle for me with my um, favorite liquid lipsticks. They're not like my favorite, but they're not bad. They don't like peel or anything like that. They're just very comfortable to wear. They're kind of similar to Ofra um, liquid lipsticks. They're not like the most long lasting. They last a pretty decent amount of time, but they're not like phenomenal to me, but they're good. They're good liquid lipsticks. And then I have my beloved Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I love these so much. Um, this one is the only one I'm not crazy about, but I do have to wear it again. This one's in the shade Melancholia. These are the Everlasting liquid lipsticks, and I have Lovesick, which I love, Bow and Arrow, which I'm obsessed with, and Lolita, of course. I love Lolita so much. I swear to God, Kat Von D nailed it with these two shades, with these th three shades. They're amazing. I love them so much. Even though they're not like cement on your lips like they don't last like forever they're really good I really love them and then in the back row 
Um, I do have two more Kat Von D liquid lipsticks just chilling here. I have the shades Lolita 2 and Vampira. I got this one I did pay for, Lolita 2. And then Vampira I got in a point perk from Sephora. I have worn Vampira a couple of times to the city, and it's a really beautiful red lipstick. It is a little bit streaky, but it's really comfortable to wear. I was really surprised on how comfortable this was, because I feel like most of my dark, vampy red lips, besides Makeup Monsters Redwood, are, like, very uncomfortable to wear, or, like, my Ofra Hypno, or, like, Lime Crime Saint. I love all those shades. This one is a is really good as well. I was really surprised. And then Lolita 2 I got in a duo with Lolita um, because I was dying to get this shade. But I think this one's almost done too. I feel like my orangey shades are like the first ones to dry out because this one and Truffle from Dose of Colors I feel like are both dried out. And then of course in this row I have all of my Makeup Monsters liquid lipsticks. You guys, I love these. But for me, like I've said before, I like these four. These are like my, some of my all-time favorite lipsticks are these four right here. The lighter shades are not half as good as the darker shades. Like, this shade is good, but it's like starting to separate. Um, I probably have to shake it up again to see if it will help it not settle anymore. I do want to wear that again at some point. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just really don't gravitate towards half my lipsticks anymore. I do really do rotate my lipsticks a lot now, but now I feel like I have to wear everything, like, again. I feel like I'm missing some lipsticks that I want to wear again, so I'll be able to get a lot more use out of these, um, during the school year. I'm already using a bunch of lipsticks right now for school. So I have Raw, Cherry Moya, Blush, Flutter, Sedona, Terracotta, Cornucopia, and Redwood. I swear, Terracotta and Cornucopia, phenomenal in the fall. They're like the best fall shades you'll ever find. And Lime Crimes Pumpkin, you don't even know my obsession with Lime Crimes Pumpkin. That shade is phenomenal. Um, So I'm going to put these back over here. I'm just going to lay them back on top. I don't know, I find this kind of nice to like see them laid back into where they go. I'm just weird. I like watching people do like everything in their videos. You know, I could watch these like forever. I love watching makeup collection videos. I'm like obsessed. Um, makeup collection videos and hauls. Hauls are like my favorite thing to watch and I love filming hauls. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my, um, my, uh, you know what? I think this goes here. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, drugstore haul that I posted recently. And then I'm just going to put these two right here. Okay, so these are back in there. Now let's move on to these guys up here. So we're going to do these first. I think they just got home now. I'm surprised they even got through the first tower before they got home. Hold on a sec. Okay, you guys, let's go through the rest of these lipsticks up here. So like I said, these are the rest of them that are on top. I mostly store regular lipsticks on the top. You guys know that. And then all my liquid lipsticks are in the drawers and lip glosses. So these are the lipsticks that I store up here. Um, the first two are new additions and then the rest are all Bite Beauty products. Then I have Lime Crime, Urban Decay, Bite Beauty, and then Tarte. So we're going to go through these. So the first two are, I'm really tired right now. I was talking to my mom for like an hour after she got home. So forgive me if I'm a little bit out of it. So the first one here is a new addition to my collection. This is the Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade Blushing Beige. Um, and then I also have another new drugstore lippy in the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Bear It All again. Super cheap. I absolutely have been loving bear, um, the Wet n Wild um, products now. I think that they're so good. I think you guys can see a little bit more like this. My eyes are like going cross-eyed right now. But this is a beautiful lipstick. I love this formula so far. This one is not as good. I like it. It's really comfortable. But I just don't like how like the bottom lip kind of transfers a little bit. But again, I will update you guys my full thoughts. I have worn these both about two or three times already. I've worn this one about three times, and I love this one. It's so comfortable to wear all day. I wore this to class, 
I believe on like last Thursday and I wore it for like seven or eight hours. Oh my God. It was so good. I love it. Um, and then the, this one is just a little sample of a Marc Jacobs lipstick. This one I got when I renewed my VIB Rouge status at Sephora. They gave you a little VIB Rouge. I don't know why there's like a dust particle on this. Just give me one second. I don't know why it's like on the top. It's driving me nuts. I'm sorry. This is actually the only Marc Jacobs lipstick that I own. Like regular lipsticks. Um, I decided to invest in YSL and NARS lipsticks when I bought high-end lipsticks. This is the Marc Jacobs um, La So Rouge La Marc Lip Cream. I actually have only worn this like once. I really have not worn this. Um, I just love to keep it because it's a, you know, special edition item. It's a free lipstick. Why not just keep it? So I just keep it on top. And then the rest of these are all mini lipsticks from Bite Beauty. I have quite a few of them. So we're gonna go through those as well. I'm sorry that, again, these are so freaking dirty. Okay, one just fell. I don't know where the heck it just went. Here it is, okay. Um, so these are newer lipsticks that I got with um, Perk Points. They do like to give a lot of Bite Beauty. Sorry, this is so dark. Why is it so dark? You know what? Let's try moving this to see if it like improves the lighting. There we go. Um, so these are Bite Beauty lipsticks that they give with Perk Points. This was a special edition one um, where they were pretty much releasing like an exclusive shade like every month with a Perk Point. So I got this one even though I kind of regretted not getting the shade before that because it was like a much more wearable shade. But this is the Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade Mimosa. Oh my god, I just wore this like a couple of weeks ago. It was so gorgeous. It's like a medium tone red. It's like an orange red shade. And I don't have like any orange red shades in my collection. I might need to like snag one at some point. Um, but this was really pretty on the lips. And then I also have this other mini one that I got with a perk point. And this one is the shade Beetroot. And this one's a really gorgeous like basically self-explanatory like a purpley shade and I again really don't have any lippies like this um so these I thought these were both really beautiful unique colors that I don't have and I believe this one is an amuse bouche one yeah and this one is a luminous cream which is their older formula and then I have this luminous cream duo in the shades fig and date you guys know I love this um this is a really good buy if you want to try out Bite Beauty lipsticks. I suggest getting these if you don't want to spend the money on their full size ones because they're not cheap lipsticks. They're almost like $30 lipsticks. Um and I decided to invest in those more than like NARS and stuff because they are beautiful formula. Um but this is a really good buy if you want to just try out two lipsticks. These are only 16 bucks, so it's pretty much the same cost as a MAC lipstick. So it's really not too bad. And then I also have this other um lip crayon and this came with the um I just want to dust these off really quick um I have three lip crayons actually four lip crayons here two are from Bite Beauty and one is from NARS this was a holiday set that I got like literally almost two years ago I believe it was like holiday 2016 because I couldn't afford any holiday 2017 15 excuse me because I, I couldn't afford anything in 2016 which sucked <laughs> um I'm pretty sure I couldn't um so these are the bite beauty lipsticks in the shades um glacé and pomegranate I love glacé this is a gorgeous really gorgeous um popular color and this one is pomegranate I believe this one is full size and this one is a mini version yeah, but these were, this was a full size that came with the holiday set, so I thought that was a really good buy. And then I have two NARS lip crayons, which I got with my um, birthday gift from Sephora. I got the NARS Perk Point. I got the Tarte Perk Point this year, but I got the NARS one like two years ago. Oh my god. The year before that, I got the Fresh one, and the year before that, I got the this one um you know I should have gotten the Marc Jacobs one though I don't know why I didn't I could have used that mini lipstick because I don't really have Marc Jacobs lipsticks when I got the fresh one last year but I used up that fresh soy face cleanser recently and it was really really good so I'm glad I had that as a backup cleanser um so yeah let's not get into that 
But these are really beautiful. This is Ricka Jean and Corella. These are awesome. Love those. Okay, so now let's finally get into what's on the top of this. Honestly, it'll go a lot faster now. I just had to describe those to you. So now let's go through the rest of my Bite Beauty lipsticks um, back here just so we can cover those and then we'll move on to the other ones. So the rest of this row, which is in the back of the um, lipsticks up here, are all the rest of my Bite Beauty lipsticks. Um, so these ones, I believe the first three are all the Amuse Bouche Formula. Um, not the Amuse Bouche Formula. The um, actually these four, these three are the Amuse Bouche. These three are the um, Luminous Cream Lipsticks. So this one is in the shade Salute. It's a really pretty um, uh, nude shade. Then this one is in the shade Pepper, which is a really, this one's gorgeous. This is like my favorite one that I have um, in the older formula. This one is a really pretty like mauve shade. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Um, and it's really moisturizing as well. I like this one more than the Salute shade. I feel like the Salute shade is a little bit drying, but it's still really nice. And then these are my three Amuse Bouche lipsticks. This one is in the shade Honeycomb. Love this one. This one is in the shade Meringue, and then this one is in the shade Sugar Cane. Um, these were three super popular ones, especially Honeycomb and, and Meringue, so I needed them in my life. I got these two during the Vibe sale, I believe, or just a Sephora haul. I don't even remember. And then this one is a... This one is a matte cream lipstick. These ones, they do more like special edition I don't know why I bought this lipstick, honestly. I really don't wear this all that much. It bleeds a lot, but it is a really gorgeous shade. Gorgeous. I'm like, gorgeous. <coughs> gorgeous shade. So I just keep it for collector's purposes. But honestly, I really do try to wear all of my lipsticks as much as I can. So those are my Bite Beauty lipsticks. And then in front here are all my Urban Decay ones. Um, and I have a couple um, here which are a little bit older than these. I swear there's so much dust on these ones. So these are my Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I got obsessed with this formula as well. So I have four of them. These were like the shades that everybody talked about. So I have the Naked Cream Shade. This one is the only one I have in a cream finish. And then these three are all the matte ones. So I have Stark Naked. Um, this one is... Safe word, those are both comfort mats, and this one is back talk, which is also a comfort mat. I love the comfort mat formula, it's amazing, one of my favorite formulas ever. And then this is the Tarte Um Celebration lipstick, Amazonian butter lipstick in the shade Ethereal Pink. I just started wearing this more this year, and it's a really pretty like wash of color. I think it's really, really nice. Sorry, I feel like my camera kind of shook for a sec. But it's a really pretty like sheer pink lipstick. I really like it. It was one. Of, it was my like first Tarte lipstick, and then the only other. I'm trying to put the cap back on. Oh my goodness! And then the only other Tarte lipstick I own. I really wanted more of these, but I only have one so far. This is the Tarte Color Splash lipstick in the shade Beach Babe. I actually just wore this yesterday, and this formula is so damn comfortable. And look at this packaging. This is honestly like the only other new lipstick that I've added to up here. I might have not had these, but I'm pretty sure I did. I think this is the only new addition to my collection here, along with the mini lipsticks. Um, the most uh, I added to were these two drawers here. I didn't really add anything to, to this drawer. Okay, and then here is the rest of my Urban Decay lipsticks. So these are the older formula. These are the Revolution lipsticks, and I have the shades Naked 2 and... Native, this one's Naked 2, and this one is Native. I love the packaging on these as well. They still have really nice, sleek packaging like they always do. And then I have the one of the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani shades. This one's in the shade Ex-Girlfriend. Really pretty sheer lipstick. And then this one is one of the Alice in Wonderland ones, and this one's in the shade Alice again. A sheer lipstick, but these are really gorgeous for when you just want like a wash of color. The same thing with the Tarte one. They're just really pretty. For really light makeup days, um, when you don't want to wear a gloss, but you don't want to wear a lipstick. Like, it's just a really pretty sheer wash of color. And then this is a little mini Kat Von D lipstick. And I believe this one's in the shade Cathedral. This is what came with 
the um, little vampire shade as well. This is really nice too. Um, I just can't keep it next to the other um, ones because I don't have any room for them with the other Study Kiss lipsticks. And then the rest of these are all of my Lime Crime lipsticks. You guys know I love my er my unicorn lipsticks from Lime Crime. So this one's in the shade Eraser, which is a really pretty like nudie pink shade. Then this one is Baybet, which is a really pretty orangey shade. Then I believe this one is Coquette, which is a gorgeous nude. I love this color. It's so good. I, I love it. I love my Lime Crime lipsticks. They're like my favorite formula besides MAC. I'm obsessed. I don't care what anybody says. Lime Crime makes bomb ass lipsticks. Then this is the shade Clueless, which was an, a um, limited edition shade. It's amazing. I'm so glad I snagged this because they have never brought it back. This is actually like the one product that they had that they were serious about it being limited edition. But then they brought back Utopia in the liquid lipstick form, but they never brought back that. And this should be permanent because it's flipping amazing like all their other lipsticks. Then this one is in the shade Gerardium. This is actually the one I wore the least. This one is my oldest one too, as you can tell. It's just not a pink shade I reach for. I really should have busted this out more in the summertime. But again, it's not as fluorescent as uh, Contessa Fluorescent, which is this one. This one is Great Pink Planet, which is more of like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is more of like a fluorescent pink uh, Contessa Fluorescent. I love this one, as you can see. It was like one of my only hot pink shades that I had before Candy Yum Yum, um, but I still love this a hell of a lot more. This one's much more of a cooler toned pink, as you can see. I'm not going to open all of them, but again, you guys know I love them. So now let's move on to um, my Lime Crime drawer. So, um, and then I have a bunch of glosses up here. Um, let's just go through the glosses really, really quickly. So like I was talking about before, I have two Sweet Peach lip glosses from uh, Too Faced in Papa Don't Peach and Peach Fuzz. I absolutely love this formula. They're amazing. The only thing I would caution you guys about is the scent is so overwhelming. When I filmed my haul with these and I wore these for the first time in that, the scent was so overwhelming I almost wanted to like stop filming the haul and like wipe it off completely. But you do get used to it as you wear these more, but just, you know, you have to get used to it. It, it, it is a little bit overpowering. And then I have a couple of Bite Beauty lip glosses. This is one of the ones that came with that Point Perk set for Christmas. Uh, actually with that little mini mimosa one. This is the lip gloss in mimosa. This is just as gorgeous. I wore this over the lipstick. It was so pretty. Um, and then I have two Bite Beauty lip glosses in here. I just want to move these out of the way so I can show you the Velveteens. I love these as well. They're amazing. I have Rambutan and Honey. I have Rambutan and Honey. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Like, what is going on? There we go. Yes. Okay. So now, let's refocus again. Okay, and then I have the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. These are still my favorite lip glosses of all time. I love them, but ColourPop and Too Faced, um, I haven't really worn these <laughs> ever since I got those, um, but these are amazing. I have uh, Liar and Kinky, and then I have an Urban Decay glitter in here, but we're not talking about glitters, but this is Midnight Cowboy. I love this. And then I have two glitters that I just keep here because I don't have room to keep them anywhere else. Let's just pull those out really, really quick. These are my Urban Decay Moon Dust glitters. I have two of them. They're just right here, Chemtrail and Recharge. And now let's get back into the lipsticks. So these are all my Lime Crime Velveteens. You guys know my favorite formula ever. I actually decluttered quite a few recently. I decluttered my old Utopia. I decluttered... Um, I am going to declutter pink velvet. I just don't want to let go of it yet because it's like the only other hot pink shade that I have. So I still haven't gotten rid of it yet because I got rid of ColourPop's first base, which is one of my favorite pinks to use as well. Um, I might have to get rid of this too soon, but let's go just go through them. So I have Suede Berry, um, L Bleached, Pink Velvet, New Americana, Lulu, and Utopia. Again, these aren't in any order because I have to reorganize them by shade again, but... You know, like, everything gets so time-consuming that it's, like, it's hard to reorganize them all the time. 
Then I have Marshmallow, True Love, Prairie, Cupid, Polly, Faded, Rustic, Riot, Pumpkin, which you guys know I love, Shroom, Beat It, Saint, Wicked, Saddle, Salem, Reben, and Peacock. The only reason why I have Peacock is because it came with a um, Christmas set. So I've never worn this shade before. And then I have the shade Raven because, get this. So I think that these are new. I don't think I had these in my last collection along with these ones up here. This one L, this one New Americana, and this Lulu shade. I think those are the end prairie. Um, those are the only other newer shades that I got, I'm pretty sure. And Saddle. Saddle was a newer shade too, I think. And Rustic. Rustic I love. Salem I love. Saddle I love. Obsessed. Saint is amazing. Riot. L. Bleached. New Americana is my favorite red of all time now. It's phenomenal. Lulu. Utopia. Obsessed with all of them. Marshmallow. Prairie. Cupid. Polly. Faded. All of those. There's only like four I don't like. The rest of them are amazing. Um, but this one I got because I ordered Marshmallow and they accidentally sent me Raven and they was they said just keep Raven. We're sending you a new shade in Marshmallow because that's the one you ordered because they said that there were a lot of mix-ups with uh, with the orders and some people received Raven and some people received Marshmallow so they sent the new ones for free. ColourPop's, I mean ColourPop, LimeCrime's really trying to step up their customer service ever since, you know, the whole thing happened with them. And honestly, I feel like they have better customer service than ColourPop and Kylie Cosmetics. But I've never dealt with Kylie Cosmetics, so you guys know I will never buy from them. Alright, so now let's get to my Too Faced drawer. These are all my Too Faced lippies in here. I do have some glitters in here as well from Stila. These are newer additions to my collection. Um, these are all my Stila glitters on this side over here. I'm just going to move these. I have Kitten Karma, Smoldering Satin, Rose Gold Retro, Sunset Cove, and Bronze Bell. Now let's get into the lipstick part. Um, these are just all like mixed and matched here. So I have my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks here. I have Sellout, Queen Bee, um, Cool Girl, and Child Star. I love these lipsticks. They're amazing. And then I have... A bunch of different melted lipsticks down here. I have the regular melted lipsticks in melted rainbow, melted strawberry, and melted candy. <coughs> Which these two are getting pretty old now. Rainbow's not as old, but these two are a little bit older than that. Let's refocus. And then I have the chocolate lipsticks here. The Melted Chocolate Lipsticks in Melted Milkshake and Melted uh, Honey. I love these. But again, the chocolate scent is very overwhelming. Um, I feel like it's a very overwhelming scent, but it is gorgeous. I love this formula. They're amazing. These are like the only li like liquid lipsticks that aren't long-lasting. They're kind of like the Ultra Satins from ColourPop. But they have like a jelly formula. They're so unique. Like Too Faced used to kick ass with their products, and now it's just like, eh. And then I have the Melted Metallic Lipsticks, which are okay. You know, I got these when I was, like, still obsessed with Too Faced. I have Melted Metallic Bunny, Melted Metallic Debutante, and Melted Metallic Tutu down here. And then I have a mini um, lipstick. I believe this came with an order, or maybe it was a point perk with Sephora. I can't remember. Maybe it was a free gift with purchase with... Uh, Ulta, but this is in the shade Chihuahua, Melted Chihuahua. This is amazing. I love this lipstick. Um, I need to wear it more often. I've only worn it like once before because I lost it for a while after I wore it for the first time. And I, I don't think I've worn it more than once or twice. But everything else I've worn in here like a million times, especially these. I am obsessed with the formula. They kicked ass with that formula. Um, I don't know why their other products like suck so hard besides their lipsticks lately. Um, I haven't really tried a new formula from them. Um, I just have been staying away from the brand. There's just too many stories that I've been hearing about them now. And now we're down to the last drawer right here. And you guys, this drawer is pretty, pretty random. This has a whole bunch of brands in here. So we're going to go through all of them. These, these are a little bit disorganized, man. Let's 
let's fix this really quick. This is not supposed to be here. This one's definitely not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be here. This is not supposed to be here. So that's supposed to be there. This one's supposed to be there. These are supposed to be here. <laughs> I think I added the most to this drawer as, um, oh my God, please don't fall. Okay, um, let's put this here. This one is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be down here. All right, hold on. Let me just reorganize this really quick. It's going to take forever. All right, so I reorganized that as best I could. So this, this drawer is pretty damn random, so we're just going to go through them all. So let's start over here. So the newest additions to this drawer are my Makeup Geek lipsticks. Um, I did recently try out all different formulas of them. So this is the Makeup Geek Showstopper Cream Lip Stain in Waltz. The Makeup Geek uh, Plush Lip Cream, which I actually just wore this today. And this one's in the shade Jet Setter. And then I have the Makeup Geek Plush Matte in the shade Goody Two Shoes because I wanted a different shade, so I got a pink shade. Um, then the newest one is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit uh, Mega Last Matte Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. Love this. I have been loving this lately. Um, I can't wait to show you guys my liquid lipstick review and check in on that, which probably will be up before this video. Um, and then I have more random. I have uh, Colored Rain. Is this where it starts? No. Actually, you know what? Let's go through these first. So I have the NARS lip cover in the shade Get Dirty, if you guys could see that. In the shade get dirty this is really really nice actually it's a really pretty like hydrating lip product if it could focus like that it's really nice but again NARS lipsticks are so damn expensive like I wish I didn't spend the money on this and just got one of their power lip pigments that they're selling now because that's an actual liquid lipstick I would have liked to try a liquid lipstick rather than like an ultra satin lip from NARS because the Ultra Satin Lips are a fraction of the price of this thing. So, yeah. But it's still a really nice product. I really enjoy it. Um, then I have... Let's just start with these because these, like, are two layers. These are Ofra, but we'll go through these really soon. So I have two colored rain lipsticks. These are also newer additions to this drawer. This one's in the shade uh, Marshmallow. And this one's in the shade Mars. Probably gonna have to take these out and show you all of them anyway. These are good. They're not my favorites. They can be drying at times and they don't last forever, but they are a good formula and they are pretty comfortable. They kind of vary in how comfort they are, how comfortable they are. Then I have one of these Smashbox lipsticks. Now, with this lipstick, this one's in the always on liquid lipstick in the shade uh always. Always on liquid lipstick in the shade In Demand. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I'm like so ready to stop filming. I'm almost done. Pretty sure this is new to this drawer. I can't remember. No, it's not new. But I don't love this. Like, I bought this when everyone was raving about this formula, and I don't love these. I really don't. They're okay. They're not like amazing. That's why I only got one. Then I have one of the Makeup Forever, which this is newer because I got this during the vibe sale this year. This is the Makeup Forever. Uh, Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 103. The first time I wore this, I wasn't a cr I wasn't crazy about it, but this is probably the only other formula that has grown on me. I actually really like this now. It's a really nice lipstick to wear. I've gotten a ton of use out of it, so it's just a really nice everyday lip shade. I love Makeup Forever. I wish I had more products from them. But this is like my newest product that I've gotten from them. They are a pretty expensive brand as well. But these are actually pretty decently priced. They're only like 18 bucks. So, um, and they're pretty much like the same size as the Smashbox. Okay, then I have one of the Marc Jacobs liquid lipsticks that I also got during the Vibe Sale. So this is new as well. This is in the shade uh, Fawn Over Me, if you guys could see it. Um, this is a really beautiful shade. Like, it's gorgeous, but this is not a liquid matte lipstick. Like I said in my review when I reviewed this, 
it's like an ultra satin lip. Again, it's like paying for, these are like getting the formula of an ultra satin lip from ColourPop for like $30. Like, and they're both really good. I really like them, but why are they so expensive though? They're not like... They're not worth the money, in my opinion, if they're not going to be a long-lasting liquid lipstick, you know? Like, I will pay for a lipstick that's $30, so I will, I'm will. i willing to pay for them. I just don't think they're... I, I just don't like the way that they were marketed, especially this. This is supposed to be a lip, liquid lipstick. Like I said, it's supposed to be a long-lasting liquid lipstick. It's not. It's really not. It's just a really beautiful lipstick. Okay. Then I have two Jouer lip, liquid lipsticks here. Again, this is when I bought these when everybody was, you know, and their mama was raving about Jouer. And honestly, I'm a, a lot more crazy about their powder products than their liquid lipsticks. These are good. I really prefer the pink shade over the nude shade. So I have the shades uh, Petal de Rose and Creme Brulee. The Creme Brulee is the nude and Petal de Rose is the is the pink is they pink is the pink this one is really gorgeous I really love this one they're just a little bit drying they're pretty drying on the lips but they're good um okay then I have my Ofra liquid lipsticks I actually really love the formula of these these are my two Kathleen Lights shades I have Miami Fever and uh Havana Nights I love how I keep on saying uh <laughs> so I have those two um, and I really like these. This is a really gorgeous orangey shade. And this is more of a red, dark red shade. Really love those. Um, everything she does, I always really love. And then I have three more Ofra lips, liquid lipsticks. The only reason why I got liquid lipsticks from Ofra was to support the YouTubers that I loved at the time. So these are the Manny MUA liquid lipsticks, but I don't like him anymore. But I still like wearing them. He's not as bad as Jeffree Star. That's why I still keep them in here. Like, he's not a racist. Um, th that's the only reason why I don't support Jeffree Star is because he's really just a racist. Um, so these are the three shades I have from the collection. Aries, Charmed, and Hypno. I got these in the bundle. So it was a lot cheaper that way. And I actually am obsessed with these. I love the wear of these. They're all amazing. But I do think that they updated their formula from these. I think that these aren't as good as these. These are amazing. They're so smooth and beautiful on the lips. They're really, really nice lipsticks. I love them. Um, and then these are my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. These are the updated formula. Again, I'm just not too crazy about Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Like, I'm really interested in trying out her new... Uh, matte lipsticks because everybody keeps on raving about them like the regular ones um, but these are the newer ones that I really just wanted to try a nude again from her after Pure Hollywood because again the original formula I really did not like at all and I had Party Pink and I returned it so fast I hated that lipstick so this one's in the shade Naked and this one's in the shade Strip. These are really pretty on the lips. They're really gorgeous nude shades. They're just not my favorite formula, but they are good. Like, they're not, like, horrible. Um, and then I have two from Galactic. You guys know I don't like these at all, but I still keep them in here. Um, I have the Galactic Matte Lip Paints in the shades Bashful and Sweet. I actually did just wear Bashful to work, like, a couple of weeks ago. I was like, hmm, let me pull this out and try it again. And it wasn't horrible. It was just, again, extremely drying. It reminds me a lot of the formula of the of the Jouer, but the Jouer don't peel on me like the Galactic ones do. That was the problem I had with them. You just have to be really careful with only doing, like, one layer of these. That's, like, all you need. And then um, the last liquid lipstick formula I have, I have in here are the Balm. But, again, I love the Galactic powder products. Not their lip products. But, honestly, they, their powder products don't last that long. Like... Two of them are shattered, which sucks for me, but the other one is, like, kind of developing this film on it. I don't know what the deal is with Galactic. I feel like they're just a scam. I don't know. Um, so these are the, the Balm lipsticks. I love the Balm. These are fantastic formula-wise. I just wish I got a different color. Um, I feel like the two colors I have are so similar to each other. I wish I would have waited when they released more nude shades in here to have a nude shade rather than, like, orangey shades. But I actually wear these a decent amount. Um, so I have the Meet Matt Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. This one's in the shade Committed and this one's in the shade Sincere. 
These are by far my favorite um, store brand liquid lipsticks besides the Stila and the Too Faced. These are so awesome. I love them. Um, they're a great, great formula. And then the rest of these are all lip glosses in here. So first I have the Marc Jacobs um, Enamored Lip Lacquer, High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Moon Glow. I got this when Jaclyn Hill was literally raving and raving and raving about Marc Jacobs lip glosses and this was her favorite shade. So I got sucked in and bought this during the Vibe sale like a year and a half ago. It is gorgeous. I love this. I just wish I didn't get the lip gloss and would have gotten one of his lipsticks instead. But hey, I do have the Marc Jacobs liquid lipstick, so I just don't have any of his regular lipsticks. Um, then I have one from NARS. This is the NARS... I don't know what exploded in here. Why is there oil all over me? It's probably this thing. I actually have no fucking clue. I don't even know. I think it is the NARS one. I don't know. It has like oil all over it. It's kind of like annoying. So this is the NARS. Uh, fuck. Sorry. Hold on. I feel like I've been recording this video for like 10 million years. This is the NARS uh, lip gloss in the shade Chelsea Girls. Again, I got this when Jaclyn Hill was raving about it. I got this, the Moon Glow one, and the uh, Bite Beauty Honey or Bite Beauty Rambutan shade all at the same time during the vibe sale because I was like, I need lip glosses. Let me buy like some expensive ass ones. But this one. These are expensive. The NARS and the Bite Beauty are a little bit less expensive, but this is like $30. It's... And then I just have two sample ones. I have the NARS one in Orgasm, which I love, and then the Makeup Forever. This is a little sample guy, and this one's in the shade 202. So that is everything in all of the drawers. And then I just wanted to show you guys these ones on the side out. Let me just like damage my knee completely this is all like excess makeup that I'm like debating on if I need to get rid of or like I'm just holding on to it just because um some of them have nostalgic value but then I just have my Jeffree Star lipsticks here which I again I don't know why I invested so much money in him when I could have bought like Marc Jacobs lipsticks or a Dior lipstick instead or a Chanel lipstick I would have had an extra 80 bucks instead of just having these sit on my shelf I don't know why I bought more of his brand of lipsticks than like some other brands that I have, but I really regret buying them. Um, so I have Androgyny, Celebrity Skin, I'm Nude, and Doll Parts. Um, those two are down here. So yeah, those are the only Jeffree Star lipsticks I have, and I hate, I hate that I have them. The formula is not bad. They're actually pretty good formula-wise. I just wish she wasn't a freaking crazy person every time he talks about something. So yeah, that is pretty much everything, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like an overview of the aftermath. But yeah, um, I have a pretty decent amount of lipsticks. Uh, what can I say? I'm a lipstick. I love lipsticks. I really do. So please like and subscribe. I don't really have as many lipsticks as most people do, though. Like, I probably have like 100 lipsticks, which is still a lot. It's a lot. But I do get used out of all of these, like... I've had these for a pretty long time that I've used all of these, like, a lot. So, yeah, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CBW819, and my Twitter's Perfectly 819 and my Snapchat is Perfectly 819 Like, I use literally all of these that are sitting right here. Basically, all of these. The only ones I really don't use are some of these Too Faced ones. But I use the Melted Mattes all the time. Um, and I use my Lime Crime Velveteens. I have been living in L and Lulu ever since I got them. They are phenomenal nudes. So, yeah, that's it. Bye. I don't have any uh, makeup on now. I filmed this, like, way after I got home from school. Um, I got home from school at 5, and then my boyfriend came over for, like, two or three hours. Because my mom and my brother weren't here. And then um, I sat down to film this video because I went to the bathroom, and then I filmed this video. And then my mom got home. So, I am ready to just crash in bed now. I have not been in bed today. So bye.